Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for turning out on what is a blustery day here in West London. Um, welcome, too, to our online viewers. I know that during the concerts we always have a few stalwarts in North America and across Europe and occasionally elsewhere, too. So welcome to today's concert here in Perivale. Uh, today we are presenting the duo, the duo of Tessa Ace, and Ben Schoeman. They played for us together quite a few years ago. No doubt Ben will mention this in his introduction. But by way of my introduction, I would like to just read out uh, a short excerpt from Hugh Mother's weekly email advertising this concert. And this is what it says. Tessa Ace and Ben Schoeman are both eminent South African pianists who both won the gold medal in the Royal Overseas League competition. They are recording all of the Beethoven symphonies arranged for piano duet, and it works very well indeed. Never thought we would be enjoying Beethoven symphonies in St. Mary's Pervale, but it promises to be a wonderful afternoon. So with that introduction, let us please welcome Ben and Tessa. afternoon. Oh wow. It's great to see somebody who's just arrived from America as well. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyway, uh, lovely to see you all. Thank you for being here and for listening to our Beethoven symphonies uh, in transcription by Zalva Sharvenka, a wonderful pianist and teacher from Berlin. He had a huge piano school in that city with 140 students at one point. And he died almost 100 years ago in Berlin in 1924. And uh, the two transcriptions we are playing um, are of the symphonies numbers one and eight. We play, we play all nine symphonies and it's quite an exciting journey for us because we are getting to know these works um, very intimately as a result of these brilliant transcriptions. And sometimes it's also very revelatory to us to hear all the lines and the text, textures inside the scores. But um, it also takes us on a journey of discovery of Beethoven's music itself. Um, and the first symphony being very much uh, still an apprentice work where Haydn's influence is looming. Um, is as opposed to the last, or the, or the penultimate symphony, the eighth symphony, which was written about 10 or uh, uh, I should say 12 years later, and in a very different phase of Beethoven's life, a much more romantic harmony, much thicker textures, but still with that remnant of some classicism in a sort of minuet, a dance-like uh, feature that still emerges very much in the eighth symphony, a balletic almost sort of grace. Um, so it is really wonderful to place these two works together. They are the two shortest symphonies by Beethoven, and they take around about an hour to play, and they have four movements each. Thank you very much.
gentlemen. And um, microphone up here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. While Ben is just getting our music organized for the Eighth Symphony, I'd just like to tell you a very little bit about the actual scores. Um, yes, the scores of the Ninth Symphonies by Beethoven, transcribed by Sharvenka. This is about two of them. But uh, the music was published in Vienna by Universal in 1907. And um, my mother was a concert pianist, and she was a student in Berlin at the Hochschule für Musik in the 20th, 20s and studied with Leonid Kreutzer, who was a younger contemporary of Saver Shavrenka, who, as Ben told you, had his own music school in Berlin. My mother got the music during the 20s in Berlin, and she played them with her then fiancé, and uh, later she had to leave Germany and f came to South Africa, where I was born. And after her death, I inherited all her music. And within all the collection of two piano music and duo music, I found the Ninth Symphonies, which is particularly fortunate because they're out of print and they have been out of print for a long time. And Ben and I first were asked to play the Ninth Symphony at a music festival in London in 2015, and since then we have embarked on all nine symphonies, and we are currently recording them for some recordings. And so this is really what I wanted to share with you, that this music is ancient, and it is no longer available, and now we hope that you enjoy the Eighth Symphony. Thank you.
just a little bit more of the Austro-Hungarian spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Tessa and Ben, for that tremendous performance of the two Beethoven symphony transcriptions by Scharwinka. I must admit I'd never heard of him. Um, it was wonderful playing, uh, and it's very good to welcome you back to Perivale. I gather that the two of you last played here about six years ago, so um, Ben, of course, has played several times in Beethoven Sonata Festivals and so on. So I hope you will come back and maybe play the other seven transcriptions. 
Uh, yes, very good. And we've also had, we have about 30 of us here in the church today. Uh, we've had 45 people watching online and commenting very effusively. People talking about the stamina, the energy, the concentration required to play those two transcriptions. And one commentator saying, absolutely brilliant. So thank you to all of you who are watching in Toronto and Upper State New York and Washington, Brazil and South Africa and Italy. Uh, it's wonderful to be able to do this from this small medieval church. We have a big international outreach now. So thank you, Ben and Tessa, and thank you all for coming. It's obviously very important that we have a live audience here to provide all the applause and also, hopefully, some of the money that we need to, um, uh, to, to, to pay our musicians. Um, I also like to thank Ben and Tessa for their introductions. I think the informative introductions really make a concert, and particularly the very special history that Tessa gave us of those scores, uh, now out of print. So, wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. So let me just close by giving a few announcements. This time next week, uh, Thursday, 1st of December, we're into December, Polish pianist Andrzej Wierczynski is flying in from Warsaw to perform for us. But before then, we have this Saturday, a big day. The Liszt Society is holding its annual day and competition. Uh, open to everybody after the AGM. So at one o'clock there is a gala performance for one hour, and then there's a one and a half hour lunch break. Uh, places one can go to, Ealing Golf Club, the uh, cafe, uh, the millet arms and so on. But from 3.30 for about two and a half hours, there is the list competition. And this year the List Society has chosen four people from different countries uh, to come and compete. They're playing for about half an hour each. Very beautiful program. It's on our website. And then on Tuesday, uh, we have the British Chinese pianist Noah Zhu, who is going to play for us. So just a reminder for regulars, there is no Sunday concert uh, this week. It is the list day on Saturday instead. So let me thank you all for coming. Thank our online uh, viewers. Thank also Truce Boss for doing the recording and the live streaming, and Jill Rowley for doing the box office today. Please donate if you can. There are some CDs at the back. Um, ben and Tessa have got, I think, three. They brought four, but two have already gone. So uh, there's three different CDs available there if you'd like to uh, buy them and be reminded of this tremendous performance today. Thank you all very much. I hope we will see some of you on Saturday. So have a good evening. It's not very good weather out there, I gather. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.